year seven and eight and welcome to another week in the lockdown with our Haverstock drama lessons. I want to recap at the start what we've looked at so far. We started off by looking at the tragedy and we looked that it was the first kind of story told over 2,500 years ago. We saw that it had a tragic hero who was relatable but had a flaw. And that flaw made them make a massive mistake and he met his downfall. That picture there is of a tragedy mask that, as you remember, the actors would wear. So the people at the back of the massive amphitheatre could see exactly what was going on. And then last week we looked at the hero. We looked at there's been many different meanings of heroes over the years. Classical hero, historical hero troubled hero and then more recently the superhero and that the modern superhero came about after an economic crash when people wanted to see someone save the day. Today we are looking at a different type of character, one that I imagine most of you won't fully understand what they mean because even I was confused about this term but let's establish first that we understand the hero and the villain. And once we know those, we will understand the anti-hero. So we start with classic heroes. Hercules with his villain, Hades. Hero, Luke Skywalker. Villain, Darth Vader. Hero, Captain America. Villain, Red Skull. And lastly, hero, Harry Potter. Villain, Lord Voldemort. You should all be familiar with at least one of these and you know that with these characters it is very clear cut. Good guys, bad guys. But that is not real life, is it? We don't all fall into that category. I'm not a hero, but I'm not a villain. And if I'm in a story and I'm neither one of those characters, well, what might I be? Well, what you might be is the anti-hero who is stuck in this middle space. And that is what we are gonna look at today. The anti-hero, not the villain, but a character who is in between the good guy and the bad guy. So the first thing I want you to do now, in a minute, you are gonna go to the link in the description in this video. So it will look, um, if you go to the bottom of a YouTube video, there will be a description. You click the link and it will take you to this video. It is called An Anti-Hero of One's Own, and it's made by a man called Tim Adams. So you're going to watch that. Once you've watched that, you're going to go to the Show My Homework task that looks like this, and you are going to complete the quiz. Now, don't forget you can do it three times until you get it right. So now I want you to pause this video go away and watch that video and do the quiz. And once you've done that, I want you to come back. Lovely, hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'm gonna clarify and put into my own words what an anti-hero is. So, an anti-hero or anti-heroine, a female anti-hero, is a main character in a story who lacks conventional heroic qualities, such as idealism, courage, and morality. So it's a character who doesn't have the personality traits that we'd expect a hero to have. So they don't have idealism, which means they don't necessarily think positively. They don't have courage, they're not brave. And they might not have morality. They might not know what is the moral good or bad that you should do. Examples here. Captain Jack Sparrow and Batman. They do some good things, but they also do some bad things. They're not clearly a hero. And the anti-hero is a character who plays on our primitive fears. So the fears that we think are naturally human, that have been with humans for thousands of years. And that fear is that we are not strong enough to defeat the monsters. But the anti-hero takes it a step further. It is not about the monsters in our world, but it's the monsters within us. The temptation to do bad things. 
the temptation to become a villain. Another two examples of anti-heroes. You might have seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a classic 80s film. He's a teenager. He's popular. He's cool. He's funny. But he really fighting with the idea of uh, bunking off school, leading people astray, being quite naughty. And probably the most famous anti-hero is Severus Snape. I'm going to go into depth now in a detail, an example of a character from a Lego movie. His name is Emmett. And think back as I'm saying this to what you heard in the video. Because as I was watching the video, Emmett came to my head straight away. So we've got Emmett. Emmett is a normal guy. A direct quote from him, he says, I'm just an ordinary guy like everybody else and I love to follow rules and instructions. He is mostly boring and uncreative. I mean, that video literally said, didn't it, that they like to follow rules. They might be one of thousands of people who are following the rules of an evil institution. And that's Emmett. One day, Emmett stumbles across something, which makes the master builders mistake him for the special one. He says, I know what you're thinking. He's the least qualified person to lead us. And you're right. I'm just going to come right out and say, I have no idea what's going on. Remember that the video said the anti-hero might accidentally save the day? In this case, he accidentally stumbles across something really important. So they think that he's really powerful and, you know, genius and that's why he's found it, but it was an accident. He begins to struggle between the power of order, about following the instructions and rules. But then the idea of his imagination and can he be unique and creative? He says, but I can't do any of the things a prophecy says I'm supposed to do. He speaks to Lord Business and convinces him it's okay to build new ideas. He says, you don't have to be the bad guy because you are special and so am I. The prophecy's made up, but it's also true. It's about all of us. So by the end, he knows I'm not the bad guy, but maybe I'm not the good guy. Maybe we shouldn't be put into good and bad. Maybe we're all just unique and special. So he's the anti-hero because, yeah, he does save a day, actually. He does. You know, he convinces Lord Business um, to change his evil ways. So he is the hero. But he didn't get there through strength. He didn't get there through being incredibly fast or incredibly talented. He kind of got there by mistake. So here's your next task. I'm going to put a list up of anti-heroes from famous films. I've tried to include, your ra include a range of genres that you will know. You're going to research that character on the internet or from your own knowledge and you're going to tell me what are they from? You're going to describe them. You're going to tell me why are they an anti-hero? What personality traits do they have that make them that? And how does their story end? This can just be bullet points or a paragraph. And on that list, I've put Captain Jack Sparrow, Maui from Moana, Tinkerbell, Deadpool, Homer Simpson, Han Solo, Doctor Who, and Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, all of these in their own right have been heroic. They have saved the day. But none of them are outright heroes. They're not superheroes. So pick one of those and use my example next to help you. So my example, I picked Maui. Now, I love Moana and I absolutely love this song, so I'm going to try and resist temptation to sing it for you. But question one, where is he from? Well, Maui is from the film Moana. Number two, describe him. He's a demigod who doesn't want to help Moana and he wants to run away from his problems and keep his power. Number three, how is he an anti-hero? Well, he leaves Moana stranded on an island and he's scared of losing his powers, even though he originally caused the problem. So he is not by any means a hero. He does things that aren't really good, but he isn't the villain because he isn't trying to hurt anyone. He's just trying to protect himself. He is not the bad guy who's trying to destroy Moana's island. He is not the creepy evil crab things who are trying to kill them but he's not the good guy either. And then question four, how does his story end? Well, however, he does return and he saves, uh, that is a typo, he says, and he saves Moana, it should say, and her island. So he does something heroic in the end. 
but he isn't the typical hero. Okay, so you're going to create a version like this with one of the characters I just put, and I will put those in the description so you can remember them from there. And you are going to submit in the usual ways. Handwrite, then take a picture and send to me. Or type it in to show my homework. And all that's left for me to say is have a lovely week and have fun completing this work.